Iranian President Hassan Rouhani spoke before the UN General Assembly this morning, and this is despite protests from Iranian Americans who say he's not welcome here. But today's visit is just another notch in the complicated, shall we say, relationship between Iran and the United States. Back in January, the Obama administration sent the Iranian government $400 million in cash in exchange for three American captives. The prisoner swap was kept secret from the public until the Wall Street Journal broke that story in early August. Now one of the prisoners is looking to speak out about how it all went down, including how the U.S. government made him buy his own plane ticket home after being released. Congress won't listen to him, so we have brought him here to share his story. Pastor Saeed Abdin joins me now. Pastor, welcome. Good to see you. Hello, thank you for having me in your program. Um, President of Iran is speaking here in New York today. What do you think of that, knowing that Iran held you hostage? Um, actually, I can't hear you well. Um, I'll, I'll say it again. You've got the uh, President of Iran speaking in New York today. What is your view on that, given that Iran is the country that held you hostage? Yes, actually, I was in New York uh, two days ago when President Rouhani came to uh, New York uh, speaking in a protest against his coming to UN and, uh, you know, about that uh, breaking all the human rights and violation in uh, Iran after removing sanction, you know, human rights situation got worse and worse, execution in Iran was like uh, more than 1,000, still there is a list of 1,000 people that are going to be executed. And uh, so I was speaking there. and. Uh, I was just uh, telling people that if you imagine a leader of ISIS come to the United States after 30 years by all execution that they did, and leaders of the world just shaking their hands. It's mm -hmm. just like, uh, it's kind of I can't surreal, believe it. right? This is For happening. Um, let me ask you about your particular experience. So, you know, it's, it's come out that you were released after this money exchange happened. I mean, most people are just saying, look, this was in fact a ransom that was paid for our Americans. Um, but then that was that, right? They, they kind of left you on your own to try and figure out your own way back home. What happened? Uh, you know, we fly from Iran to Germany, and uh, we were in a hospital in Germany for a few days before we come to the United States. And uh, so it was, we were there, and uh, in Germany, actually, they told us you need to buy your own ticket to come to the United States. And I was shocked, actually. They, and they said, how come? They said, that was our uh, job, to bring you just out of Iran, not mm -hmm. bring you inside the country in the United States. And I talked to other American in hospital, and we were actually we were all shocked because uh, I thought that uh, just, just like, I came out, we, I had just like a prison clothes, nothing to do, and then they just told us uh, you need to buy your own ticket. I mean, how, what was your from, condition? What was your uh, health condition at the time because you had been held by Iran? You know, I had I had a stomach bleeding for months in prison because they beat me very bad there, you know, and uh, some physical attack from the guards, and uh, they kind of like make a team against me in prison from other prisoners, actually. So they tortured me psychologically and physically a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so I wasn't in a good halt, but I was in a, my best uh, part because I, just six months before we get released, they led us to order from the restaurant of prison, and then now I know probably they know that we're going to be released mm -hmm. so they just want us to be you know uh, in a good shape mm. but you know the whole last three five years that I was there it was just torturing it was so hard so uh, pastor you, you get to Germany they're like okay good luck you're on your own did you have any money to buy a ticket back to the United States uh, you know, they told us that you need to buy your own ticket and uh, so, uh, and then, or you can stay here for as much as you want for months. And I was just, we were all wants to come back home. And uh, so it, it was a stressful time actually when they told me. And I said, you know, I was in prison. I, I cannot buy any ticket, you know. But they told me, you know, like, 100 million people across the world, they know you and Christian, they're going to uh, help you out. And I was mm -hmm. just like, I thought that you should just bring us home, in, at least in the United States. In Boise, Idaho, that was my home, but uh, they said there is no yeah. budget for All that. Right. Well, Pastor Abedini, we wish you well, and it's good that you are home. Thank you so much.